Alrighty guys, I just made it inside the bait shop. As you guys can tell, it's a self-serve bait shop, which is very cool actually. Um, I don't see very many. This is actually the only one I know of. And um, I actually know the owner, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, um, this is these are the minnows, minnows. And he doesn't have any shiners actually. These tanks all have minnows in them, all have minnows. All have minnows, everything has minnows. So um, that is actually pretty neat. So what you guys do here is you take your this little scoop here that they leave out here. You fill it up with some water. Pour it in the bucket just like that. Maybe just get a little bit more. And then all you're going to want to do is get a scoop of minnows and scoop them in. So we just got our minnows and uh, it's time to head out. So uh, we're gonna get on the road. Alrighty guys, I just made it to the spot here at the lake. And actually, I ran into one of my dad's good friend. Um, I fished with him quite a bit before, and he's really good at fishing, and he's been coming here too. And he said he's been catching fish, so I'm gonna, feed, I'm gonna be fishing next to him as well. And there's actually two kayaks out here, which is kind of surprising, because there's a south wind, and we're on the north side of the lake here. And, it's pretty windy out, so I'm kind of surprised they're out here. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff on out there and uh, I'll show you guys a couple tricks on how to put on waders and stuff like that and uh, see you guys out there. So for the people that haven't really wadered fish before, or if you do wader fish and you haven't and like you don't do this, um, it's actually really helpful. Um, so you tuck your pants into your socks. So that way when you put on your waders, your waders don't lift up your uh, pant legs and then you have your skin touching the waiter just, which is very uncomfortable so that's what you do you tuck your uh, pants into your socks and it works perfect and it's a little bit warmer than usual too so it's pretty nice so guys it is super windy out right now and the wind is actually coming at my face so it's gonna be tricky to talk to you guys so I'm just gonna talk up here for a little bit before we get fishing I'll be fishing with live bait and the thing is with live bait is you get these bait buckets or whatnot and you gotta walk back to shore to go put your minnow on back on your hook. And you lose your minnow quite a bit and I don't wanna do that. So this little convenient thing right here, this yellow part actually screws off and this bottom part has holes in it as you can see. And um, basically what that hole is for, uh, you dip in the water and you put your minnows in here and you lift it out of the water and all the water drains out of these holes, which is very helpful actually so you don't, so you don't get your hands wet. And it's a pretty neat uh, invention. And then you just got your, then you just got your stringer on here. But actually the guy that gave me this and invented this, or he didn't invent it, but he created it himself. He actually gave it to me and that's actually the guy I'm gonna be fishing with today. So that's gonna be pretty cool fishing along with him. I haven't fished with him in like four years probably, so it's gonna be really cool just to like be fishing with him again and uh, I'll see you guys out there. Guys, I'm just gonna dip my little thing in here. Try and get as many minerals as I can. Usually you want a net, but uh, I do not have a net. Should be enough. So you got your thing there. Close it up. All I'm working with guys here is a, uh, got a weight down here. Drop shot hook right here. And about three and a half feet of leader actually connecting to a uh, 20 pound braid. Uh, the leader is pretty important I'd say. You just want to take your minnow here, take this hook right through the head like that. Flips on like that. It's pretty nice. Um, you can work this multiple ways. I'll show you guys how I do it out there. been a couple minutes now and I haven't had a bite yet um, so I'm going to talk to you guys about what I'm doing and how you can fish this drop shot rig I'm using um, you can fish it like a regular drop shot where you just let it sit there do a couple pops off the bottom just jig it there basically and just like hold it in place but uh, there's another way I like to do the drop shot and I've had quite a bit of success on this in the past few years it's kind of a trick I found out instead of just jigging it you just kind of slow reel it off the bottom and the walleyes will actually hit it. So it's basically you're just like trolling a minnow a couple of inches off the bottom, you know? And that's what I've had quite a bit of success on before in the past years. I haven't, I've caught, I mean, yes, I've caught a few on uh, jigging it, but 
I just find it easier to use just to slow reel her in like this. And uh, I've caught majority of my fish doing that. So you guys can also use plastics too while you're drop shotting these, but I tend to find it more, uh, I find it easier to use minnows. Um, just because usually around this time of the year, that's what those fish are going to be keying, on, keying in on and all that kind of stuff. But um, not very often do I use the drop shot and minnow though. Usually I just stick to plastics, but uh, I wanted to show you guys that you can catch them with minnows. And there's a couple ways you can fish them with minnows. You can use them with just a plain jig head and slow reel it or jig it off the bottom. There's a whole bunch of ways you can fish live bait. So this is just one of the ways I'm doing it today. Oh yeah. Thank you, sir. It's a beauty. You can take him to shore if you want. No, that's okay. I'll just let him go anyway. Yeah, I didn't give her enough slack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that one. I'll just measure him quick. 26 maybe? Oh, that's handy. 24. 24. A little over. 24 and a half. Ooh. That's a good one. I took a quite a few. Hands are cold. Hands don't work. I know. Mine aren't either. That's, I'm always scared to handle my phone out here. Yeah, I always leave mine up on shore. You're a smart man. I almost dropped mine down the ice hole this year. I was like, eh, that's the end of that. Whew. Got free of him. There we go. That one. Alrighty guys, just cut the first one for me. Um, not a bad one, I think I'm gonna throw him back. But uh, anyway, not a bad fish to start the night off. I'll catch you guys later. All right, let's gotta go. There he goes. Let's go, baby. Whew. Am I cold or what, guys? Holy crap. I am just absolutely freezing right now. Um, I did not dress properly for my bottom half. I didn't bring my wool socks because that was kind of a last second thing to go out and go fishing. And so I wore the same socks I wore to track practice and they're actually a little bit sweaty. So I mean, they're pretty cold. And uh, anyway, I was happy to catch that one fish. And uh, the way I caught it was I was using that drop shot rig I was showing you guys. And then uh, I actually ended up catching them pretty close to my feet and I actually doubled up with uh, Schneids. Um, that's the guy that I know, and uh, it was pretty. Good. It was a pretty fun time fishing with him and everything. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get home. <laughs>